wonder why hummingbirds hum. Maybe they don't know the words. Hi, this is Lena Shea, an Iowa mom, and we've been really enjoying our hummingbirds. You can avoid all the expensive kinds of syrup that you have to buy for hummingbirds. It's very easy to make, and I thought I'd just show you how it works. I'm using one fourth cup of sugar in one cup of hot water because it dissolves better. And if it doesn't dissolve real quickly, I let it set a few minutes and it will dissolve. Another thing we want to do is add a little bit of red food coloring. And I do two or three drops, give it another stir. And that's all there is to it. Very simple and very cheap. I'm turning this thing upside down, screwing it on, and then when it's completely together, very quickly, I'm going to invert this right side up. If you don't do it real fast, then it tends to kind of start leaking out those holes. So now we are ready to hang this up outside and begin to begin feeding our hummingbirds. Right now I only use a cup. As the season goes on, I might be doing two cups a week, depending on how much they drink. I've got a hook on the feeder, and then we have some wire hanging down from the eave because I can't reach that high. It also gives us eye shots so we can see the birds feeding here while we're inside the house. Okay, there we go. We're ready for hummingbirds. Once a week, we want to change the syrup. Remove the syrup container, it screws off the bottom, and drain out all the unused syrup. And this thing does come apart. For places where the birds put their little beak in there, I just use an old toothbrush. And I do save one that I use just for this because I don't want to get soap or anything like that in there. On the inside, that's also where it can get some build up. And there we go. If you do this once a week, you really don't have to go through all this hassle. Then you can just quickly rinse it out and it's ready to go. You don't want to put this where the sun is shining right on it. That will promote growth of mold and stuff like that. I don't want any mold in here at all. I've got a little cleaner thing that I found at the dollar store. And it's, I've had it for so long, it looks really bad. But it does scrub that inside out nice. And if you can just use a wire with a rag. And then I always make sure I rinse it plenty. I also do the outside. Now that it's clean, you can refill and put outside for another week. Now we're ready for hummingbirds. This is Lane Shea, an Iowa mom. Thanks for watching.